and welcome to City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011. I'm Marina Scott. Over the next three days, we're going to see more than 9,000 pedigree dogs judged here at the National Agricultural Centre in Kenilworth. In the ring behind me, in three days' time, we're going to see the Best in Show winner crowned by Judge Jack Bispam. Now also coming up in the programme, we'll be speaking to winners, judges and exhibitors. Now let's get straight to it and see the winners from the Hound Group. And the first to move, the Petit Bassett Griffin Van Deen. Next we have the Beagle. You can cheer these dogs on, ladies and gentlemen. Next we have the miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. The miniature wire-haired Dachshund. The Deerhound. The Norwegian Elkhound. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. And finally, the last of the eight shawl is the dogs, the Saluki. The decision is made and the winner of the Hound Group Manchester 2011 is the Petit Bassett Griffin Bondine. In group 2, the miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. In group 3, the miniature wire-haired Dachshund. And in group 4, the Saluki. So now we're speaking to Martin Sanders, who's judged the Hound Group today. Martin, thank you very much for joining us. What did you make of the PBGV that won Group 1 today? Why did it stand out for you? Well, for me, uh, I actually gave this uh, exhibit a first CC last year at Darlington Championship Show from a junior class. Uh, for me, she's got many, uh, many attributes, uh, and the icing on the cake is her personality, which lifts her from the rest. Well, thanks very much, Martin. We're also joined by Andrew Brace, Dog World's consultant editor, and Simon Parsons, Dog World's associate editor. So, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Just first of all, Simon, what do you actually make of that group? Was it quite an interesting group? I think it was an interesting result in many ways. Uh, first was Jilly, the uh, Petit Bassic Griffon Vendéon that uh, has become such a familiar face this year. She started off the year uh, very young by winning runner-up all breeds at Crafts and has never looked back since. Uh, and it was also quite interesting in other ways because the, the second, the miniature smooth accent, and the fourth, the Saluki, were both imported by uh, well-known exhibitors in this country from top breeders in Sydney in Australia and have both done very, very well since then. And the third place, the miniature wirehead accent, that became the top winner ever in its breed today. So, Andrew, what did you make of the group and the winners? Uh, it was an interesting group. Um, obviously, I was possibly a little bit biased in that... Um, 
the PBGV won Best in Show at the, the Big Hound Show under me in August. And um, yes, she's on a roll. And um, yes, she's uh, winning everything in sight. There's nothing clever about knocking top dogs. And for me at the Hound Show, she was a standout, as indeed she was today. But I was particularly taken with um, the Australian Saluki that I've never seen before. That's one we're going to be seeing a lot more of, I suspect. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. We're actually joined by Jilly, the PBGV, the Group 1 winner of the Hound Group, and Sarah Robertson, her handler and owner as well. What did you make of that? I know you've won a lot in the past year with Jilly. You know, did you think when she was a youngster that you thought she'd get to this success? Um, not this quickly and probably not this level, to be honest. So, especially with the um, previous successes we've had in the breed, to then continue with another one, it's been just unbelievably amazing this year so far. Well, thanks very much, Sarah. Good luck and best in show on Sunday. Well, now we'll go back to the main ring for the conclusion of the toy group. And the first to move, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The smooth coated Chihuahua. Coat on the Tollier. The Japanese chin. The Griffon. Finally, Peking Charles Spaniel. Boards are out, and the decision is made, and the winner goes to the King Charles Spaniel. Group two, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Group three to the Griffon. And group four to the Coton d'Italia. I'm now joined by the judge of the toy group at City of Birmingham. Dan, what did you make of that group today? I had a very good time judging them. I enjoyed them very much and it gave me great pleasure finding four dogs that I really liked. And it was a particular joy to be able to give the first to a breed which does not always figure so prominently in the group. And a dog which is also living proves that dogs which are sometimes accused of being overtyped and not as sound as one would require can fulfill those requirements perfectly and I thought he was an outstanding representative of his breed. Well thank you very much for that. Uh, Simon what did you make of that group then overall? Uh, it, was, it was an extremely interesting one. It's As Dan said it's not often that a King Charles Spaniel uh, gets this high at a dog show and in, in this case an you know, outstanding example did particularly well for the breed uh, and it was particularly nice for the owner Sheila Walters who hasn't been so well recently but is an extremely clever breeder for one of her dogs to do uh, so, so well and so well handled by Tanya. It was also unusual in that a uh, runner-up was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, a, a slightly different breed uh, and a very popular one and it was a very young dog who, who uh, was in second place and even in third was an even younger one. I think the Griffon was only eight months old, which uh, shows that we've got some really good young stock coming on in this group. So Andrew, so, so uh, coming from someone who's exhibited uh, several toy breeds in the past, what are your priorities in the group? 
Well, it, people tend to think that the toy group is, is basically um, made up of lap dogs and, and companion breeds. Mm. And indeed, all these breeds were primarily bred to be just that, beautiful looking, amusing companions. But it's um, a source of great interest to me that the group often, um, and today was no exception, produces some of the soundest moving dogs in the whole show. Um, and sometimes when I watch the toy group, I really wish that we had gun dogs that actually moved as soundly and as accurately as some of our toys do. Well, I'm delighted to be joined right now by the winning Toy Group winner, which is the King Charles Spaniel, champion maybe Theo, and I'm with the handler, Tanya Island. You must be delighted because I understand the owner's not too well at the time. Yes, she hasn't been very well, so uh, she's had the phone call and it was, as she put it, the boost she needed. So she takes 100% full credit. I just come and show a beautiful dog. And, and what makes her so special? Him. Him. <laughs> <laughs> what makes him so special? He's a stunning representative of his breed, yeah. but he's also a lovely dog to live with. He also, as a hobby, does agility. Um, we also compete a couple of this particular breed, which are not always known for their soundness in agility. Um, and he's just an all-round lovely dog, not just to look at, to live with at home, you know, and to be a lap dog as well. So we're actually going to be talking to the owner of the Cotton de Tullier, which actually got a group placing today, which I understand is quite a historic moment for the breed. It is. It's the first time in this country to get a group placing for an adult Cotton. We have been pulled out in the final lineup in the toy group, um, but this is the first time. And so we're absolutely delighted. We have had a placing as a puppy group, as puppy group two. Um, but yeah, absolutely, over the moon. Well, congratulations, Hazel. Um, I know it's a, a really big achievement for, for a rare breed to do that, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, we started showing on the import register in 2001, and um, we came off of the import register in 2004. And, uh, you know, this, the, the, the breed has gone from strength to strength. So we're absolutely chuffed and hopefully we'll do it again. <laughs> well, very well done. Well, that about just about wraps it up for day one. We'll see you after the break where we look at the working pastoral and terrier group. Welcome back to City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011. Before the break, we saw the winners of the toy and hound groups. Today is the turn of working pastoral and terrier groups. Now let's head over to the main ring to see the winners of the working group. Here we have the final age of 1,147 dogs entered in this group today. The Alaskan Malibu. The Boxer. The Doberman. The Great Dane. The Newfoundland. The Rottweiler. The Bull Mastiff. And finally, the St. Bernard. Alaskan Malibu. Group two to the Newfoundland. Group three to the Bullmaster. Group four to the Rottweiler. 
Big hand to those four leaving the ring now, please. Well done. We've just seen the winner of the working group as the Alaskan Malamute, chosen by Frank Kane, the judge, this year for City of Birmingham 2011. Thanks for joining us, Frank. Just first of all, can you tell us what made that dog particularly stand out for you? Well, he's got wonderful breed type, uh, got great carriage on the move, and he's got ring presence, which makes the good dogs stand out, okay? So he's wonderful breed type, by, me, by which I mean that he's got the essentials of the breed, the slightly sloping top line, the waving plume as a tail, wonderful legs and feet, and very accurate movement, which is very important in a working dog. Now, Simon Parsons, just tell us, that working group is always a very big group, mm. lots of lovely dogs in there. Mm. What did you make of it tonight, um, especially that Alaskan Malamute? Um, it's new to the top winners. It, it is indeed, and for uh, his owner, Avril, she's only ever bred one litter, and uh, from this she kept two puppies, and uh, they won both do best dog and best bitch in the breed, breed today, and then the, the, the male went on and won the group, which just shows you don't have to have been in the dog scene for years to win at the very top level. So, was there any particular other dogs there that you thought could have been uh, the top winner as well? I don't, the, the, in, in second place there was the New Newfoundland, who was bred in Switzerland, lives in Northern Ireland. His owners, they travel over to nearly all the shows in England, and he's done, done a huge amount of winning, so there, there's a, a, another big, big winning dog who uh, tr travels right around the world. Thank you very much, Simon. Well, we're actually delighted to be joined by Avril and Toko, the Alaskan Malamu. You must be delighted with what's happened today. Oh, it, it's just been an absolute superb day for me and my two dogs. And uh, it's just been one of those sort of dreams that, you, you know, you just sort of think about that perhaps won't ever happen to you. And it's what, your first litter you've ever bred as yes, well, it's just remarkable. Yes, yeah, only one litter. And then to get this one out of it, I mean, what will happen to Toko tonight then? Uh, I'm going to go back home, give him a nice break and then bring him up again then tomorrow. Yes. Well, good luck to you, Avril. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, let's go and see the winners of the pastoral group. So here we have the last eight of the 1,157 pastoral dogs entered at the City of Birmingham Championship Show 2011. The Bearded Collie. Now we have the German Shepherd Dog. The Brigham. The Old English Sheep Dog. The Hungarian Pooley. The Lancashire Healer. The Shetland Sheepdog. And finally, the Pembroke Corgi. of decision by our judge. We await the boards to be pulled out. Shortlisting again, the German Shepherd Dog, the Briard, the Pooley, and the Shetland Sheepdog. Thank you. A decision has been made. Almost now due to get our fifth group winner from the city of Birmingham, which is the Shetland Sheepdog. Group two, the German Shepherd Dog. Group three, the Briard. And in group four, the Hungarian Pooley. The winner of the pastoral group was the Shetland Sheepdog and I'm joined by the pastoral group judge, Sigurd Wilberg. What made this dog stand out for you, Sigurd? This is an excellent show dog. She's full of personality, style and it also it has, is a lovely, lovely um, breed type, beautiful head, air carriage. 
took my heart. As soon as it came into the ring, won the group. That's sometimes all it takes, isn't it, Sigurd? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Simon Parsons, our resident expert here, what did you make of that group? Was it one of those groups, because mm. the pastoral group mm. is full of so many herding breeds, mm. but all different shapes mm. and sizes. So anything that caught your eye? Uh, I, as Sigurd said, the, the, the Sheltie with his, his beautiful colour in particular uh, is one that always catches the eye. There's some other very good dogs in there. There's the, the, the famous German Shepherd Dog who comes from, from Germany the Briard who comes from Poland, but uh, the winner this time was a, an all-British dog owned by a, a very clever breeder of Shetland Sheepdogs, the Debbie, and uh, it was lovely to see a, a British dog go all the way. Thank you very much. Now, Debbie, you looked absolutely elated winning that group. You look really, really surprised. I mean, have you actually won anything at this top level like this? Yes, yes. He's, he's won uh, a, another group before and two group twos. And it's his 12th CC and best breed today. Fantastic. And is this one particularly a good shower? Do you like handling him? Uh, oh my God, yeah. He's, he's just, he makes me feel like the Queen showing him. I just <laughs> adore showing this dog. Yeah, he's and, great fun in the ring. And does it take a, a lot to get this coat in this type of condition? Um, no, I think it's in the breeding. <laughs> I think it's in the breeding. But it does take a lot of uh, time grooming and getting it all right. It's having a sniff. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> having a sniff there. Well, congratulations. Thank Good luck for Best much. in Show. Thank well, you. we're going to go to the Terrier Group now for the main winners from City of Birmingham 2011. Final movement for the Kerry Blue. The Bull Terrier. The Lakeland Terrier. The Norwich Terrier. The Scottish Terrier. And finally, the Bedlington Terrier. Decisions are made, nods given, and the boards are out. And the winner of the Terrier Group, Birmingham 2011, is the Kerry Blue. In Group 2, the Bedlington Terrier. Group 3, the Scottish Terrier. And in group four, the Norwich Terrier. A big hand for the three that were non placed in this group now. Thank you very much indeed. I'm delighted to be joined by Paul Wilkinson, the judge of the Terrier Group of City of Birmingham 2011. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, just tell us what made that Kerry Blue, which won the group, stand out for you? It's overall balance and excellent movement excels in profile and it, and it was a, a really tough group as well we've had a lot of top winners coming out of the terrier yeah, group a, this year it's a very strong group at the moment yes some quality dogs there well thank you very much yeah. paul appreciate your thoughts there now simon that was a, a top group and like we say there's a lot of top winners that have come out of the terrier group this year yeah. um what do you make of um that group uh, at city of birmingham uh, I think, uh, as, as Paul said, it was an exciting group. Once again, the Terriers have been very tough this year with dogs from various different countries winning at the, at the highest level. Uh, last year, Phil Davies uh, got uh, runner-up top dog all breeds with one of his uh, Kerry Blue Terriers. This year, he's brought out another one uh, who, who won the group today. So I think it's a mark of consistency in a kennel that you can uh, bring out top winning dogs year after year after year. Thank you very much, Simon, Thank for you. that. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Phil Davis, who's the breeder of the Kerry Blue Terrier. Thanks for joining us. I mean, you've, you've bred some champions in your time, but it, does it still make it a fantastic win? Oh, yeah, that was a big thrill for me because Paul gave Chelsea last, the year before last her first Terrier group. And uh, I think that's his, um, he's not judged a group since. So to give a dog from the same kennel um, a group again, and, and, and him being Chelsea's half-brother, I'm just thrilled, really thrilled. 
And you have Jeff Corish handling the dog on most occasions. Uh, and why is this? Just to tell the viewers. Um, I, the main reason for Jeff handling is obviously he's one of the best handlers in the country. Um, but the other reason is, you know, I, I, I work for a food company and um, uh, sometimes it's very difficult for me to have time off to show the dog. Welcome back to the City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011. Today is day three and the turn of the utility and the gun dog group. Now let's go over to the main ring to find out the winners of the gun dog group. First of all, the English setter. Next, the German short haired pointer. The Irish setter. The Clumber Spaniel. The Flat Coat Retriever. The Golden Retriever. The Cocker Spaniel. English Springer Spaniel. And finally, the Sussex Spaniel. Final decisions in a moment. We have the calls will be called for, and then we'll know the winner of the Gundog Group, City of Birmingham, 2011. Decision made. It's the English Springer Spaniel. The English Setter, Group Two. The Clumber Spaniel, Group 3. And the Golden Retriever, Group 4. Big thanks to the other dogs leaving the ring now. Give me a big hand. Topping the gun dog group at City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011 was the English Springer Spaniel. Now I'm joined by our judge for the gun dog group this year, which was Sandra Marshall. Thanks for joining us. Now just You're tell welcome. us what made this English Springer really stand out for you? Well, I think he did stand out in the group. I loved his construction, his size, his type, and I think I thought his movement was excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Andrew, our resident expert in these past few days. Now, the Gundog Group is one of the largest of the groups. Um, how does a judge go about judging such a large group with so many breeds, but they of a very similar type? Well, obviously, you've got variations on a theme within the Gundog Group. You have the various retrie retrievers, various spaniels, um, and uh, obviously they all have their individual breed points. It is a large group, a lot of the breeds are indigenous British breeds, um, but more and more recently we've had European breeds, particularly in the HPR group, the Hunt Point Retrieve, such as the Hungarian Vishla, the Weimarana, and the, the group is expanding more and more. And um, our winner today, um, although it's actually a British breed, it's, it's a Swedish import. 
Thank you, Andrew. Now, turning to the Swedish import, which is Seamus, owned by Dave Mitchell and Jackie, and Jackie yeah. um, from Ashford. Now, this is the first time you've topped the group, isn't it? It is, yeah. Very excited, yeah. And, and what was it like, actually, when she came towards you? Did you actually believe it? I wanted to. <laughs> and it was true. Yeah, I did, yeah. And what's this do dog particularly like to show? He's a pain. He's, is he really? He is, yeah. He's a fidget. He doesn't stop. And... It winds me up, but he's, he's such a character as well. He's a fabulous dog. And will you remember this day for a little while? For a long while. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Dave. What we're going to do now is go and actually take a look at the winners of the utility group. These nine top winning dogs, the nine final representatives from the 1,412 dogs in 23 breeds that were entered today. Um, four have been picked out, thank you for those leaving. We have the Standard Poodle, the Dalmatian, the Sharpe, and the Tibetan Terrier. First to move, the Standard Poodle. The Dalmatian. The Sharp A. And the Tibetan Terrier. Boards have been called, and very soon we will know the winner of the utility group. City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011. And the winner, the Standard Poodle. In Group 2, we have the Sharp A. Group three, the Dalmatian, and group four, the Tibetan Terrier. Topping the utility group at City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011 was the Standard Poodle, which, Andrew, you were the judge and our resident expert this week today, but you were the judge of this particular group. And why did this particular dog stand out for you? Well, first of all, let me say it was actually a very, very strong group. Um, and my initial shortlist were all dogs that interested me considerably. Um, some of the dogs I've judged previously and given top honours to. Um, the, the standard poodle, who is, is still a relatively young dog, um, I've sort of seen him in the distance once or, once or twice, but never actually had my hands on him. Um, <clears throat> he's a charismatic dog. Um, he's a stallion, but he still has that wonderful poodly air about him. Um, I love the way he looks at you. I mean, he's got that look of eagles that just when, if, if there was any element of doubt, he just kind of turns his face and says, you know, please, you know, don't walk past me. Here I am. Um, and interestingly, and co very coincidentally, I think it was four years ago at this self same show that I actually gave his grandsire the utility group. All oh, right, and this was the very <laughs> famous Donny. This was Donny. Donny. This was Donny, and I think now Donny has a very worthy successor. Absolutely. Now, just looking at the utility group as a whole, Andrew, it's a very interesting group because there's breeds in this group that don't classify in any other group. So mm -hmm. you get all sorts of shapes and sizes and colours and coats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very complex group, probably with more variety than any of the other groups. Um, and uh, the, all the breeds in this group are basically primarily companion dogs. It was a very strong group. Um, 
as I said earlier, my, my initial shortlist were all dogs that interested me. And I got down to four dogs that really excited me on the go around. Um, it was going to be a really, really great one to beat the standard on, on the day because he, he's just got such wonderful ring presence. A very exciting lineup there. Well, we can actually be joined by Dino, the standard poodle now, and we've got Jason Lynn, the owner and handler. Now, this is quite a spectacular looking dog, and when you go around that ring, pretty much everyone is literally eyes gaze and they can't look anywhere else. What's he, what's he like to show? Uh, standard poodles really are the king of dogs and there's nothing like even just taking them for a walk down the street you, you get no end of people stopping wanting to have a chat because they just radiate this majestic uh, confidence that no other breed really has it's something that's very unique to poodles and it, it's really a, a rush showing them and I noticed in there as well that you use a mat as well sometimes to help. What, what, what is that actually doing? Well, I, I did today. Sometimes the carpet can be a little bit slippery and a, and a big dog may not have the best traction. Um, so I, I was finding that he was just ever so slightly slipping with his back legs. Um, so I, I used the mat a couple of times to try to give him some reinforcement. But in the end, he, he was handling it okay, so I didn't need it. And the first to enter the ring from the first day the hounds, the Petite, Bassett, Griffin, Bendeen. The toys, the King Charles Spaniel. The Terriers, the Kerry Blue. And the working group, the Alaskan Malamute. And the pastoral group, the Shetland Sheepdog. From the utility group, the standard poodle. And from the gunda group, the English Springer Spaniel. the table, the winner of the Hound Group on Friday, the Petit Bassett Griffin Van Dien, exhibit number 228. The Petit Bassett Griffin Van Dien. Next, from the toy group, we have the King Charles Spaniel. It's a dog. Exhibit number 1865. King Charles Spaniel. The dog, exhibit 5081, the Kerry Blue. The Kerry Blue.
the dog, exhibit number 2494. The Alaskan Malamu. Shetland Sheepdog. Again, this is a dog. Exhibit number 4523. The Shetland Sheepdog. Today's utility group, as you've all just seen, we have the standard poodle. This again is a dog. Exhibit number 8742. The standard poodle. Springer Spaniel. A dog, exhibit number 7483. The English Springer Spaniel. Climax for the best in show. <laughs> the city of Birmingham, 2011, is almost here. Final representation of over 9,200 dogs. These are the seven dogs representing the seven groups. And soon we will know the best in show for 2011. And it goes to the standard poodle. And in the reserve vessel show, the Petite Bassett Vendine. Thank you also to the other five dogs and a big hand to all the dogs for such a wonderful presentation.
A big hand to our judge, Mr. Jab Vispum. Reserve Best in Show at City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011 is Jilly the PBGV. I'm joined by her owner and handler, Sarah Robertson, and her nearly five-year-old son, Oliver. Um, are you pretty chuffed with that, Oliver? <laughs> Very shy at this age. Sarah, you've obviously been at the top with this dog so far in the last 12 months. Does it still give you so much satisfaction to get these top awards? Absolutely. I think with any award, it, you just... You just can't tire of it doing it and you still get nervous and it's just, it is just a, such a thrill and she is a pleasure to show even though she is a bit naughty sometimes but <laughs> she is a pleasure to show. She absolutely flew round the ring as well but um, uh, perhaps members of the audience might not have seen that um, she actually had to relieve herself in there. Was that a bit embarrassing perhaps? Um, just slightly yeah we, we did take her out for a walk and she had already been to the toilet but obviously hadn't quite finished everything she needed to do bless her <laughs> but when you've got to go you've got to go. Absolutely well very many can Congratulations to you, and perhaps we'll see Oliver in the show ring when, he, when he's a little bit older. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> What an extremely exciting and lovely lineup there was for Best in Show here at City of Birmingham. And at the Kenilworth National Agricultural Centre as well, the scene of Best in Show that was just wonderful to watch. Jack Bispam was actually just judging that. And you're holding this giant rosette and you awarded it to the Standard Poodle. Now, tell us why. Well, it just is day. I mean, he has the ring charisma, style, He's handled and presented in top condition and he does look to pitch a moving round uh, on the green carpet. Yeah, he's a nice dog, he's a class dog. And have you judged a standard poodle in this sort of condition and quality before? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes I have. Uh, I judged this one last week actually. All right, okay. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just, it's just all got together. He's, he's a nice dog. One Class. of your favourites then? Well, he's a nice dog. Yeah, he's a good dog. Yeah, no two ways about it. He just has everything. I mean, obviously to win best in show or a group at a general champ show, you want a good dog. But to, to get the group or the best in show, you want a good dog with just that bit extra. And this lad has it, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we are now rejoined by Dino and his owner, um, Jason Lynn, who he's looking rather happy now because I think he's probably going to use that rosette to uh, perhaps use as a dinner plate for his food <laughs> when he gets home. It's an amazing rosette. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had one like that before? Because I know you've won a lot, but that's pretty big. I think that might be the biggest I've ever seen, actually. <laughs> Um, now you've shown a lot abroad um, and here in the UK, I mean, do you still get this amazing buzz when you go into that best in show ring and win? Definitely, it's a combination of uh, nerves and a little bit of adrenaline, um, but it's, you know, it's what we work for and we really, that, that 15 minutes that we're in the best in show ring, we just try to enjoy it. And you actually won this utility group on the final day. So you actually only had a few moments before you were going back into mm. the ring to compete that's in right, Best in Show. Right. Do you think that gives you a little bit of an advantage that the dog's already on its toes? Um, often that can work as a disadvantage because he was already put through his paces quite extensively in the group. And some dogs may maybe lose a little bit of their sparkle by the time Best in Show rolls around without much time to relax in between. But he seems to just rise to the occasion and get better and better even when faced with being on a fast schedule. Well, there's going to be a lot of celebration tonight, I can imagine, in your camp. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> well, thank, <laughs> thank you very much, Jason. That's absolutely fantastic. Well, that just about wraps it up from City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2011 here at Kenilworth. So best in show was the Standard Poodle. Reserve best in show was the PBGV. See you next time. <laughs>